Hello everyone, this is Leo from Generates Blocks and Generates Press. In the last video, we went through how to replicate the module section in GP Premium. And in this video, we will go through how to replicate the pricing table section in GP Premium. Let's get right to it. As in the last video, we have GP's content container set to full width. And now let's add our first block, which will be a container block. We will set the container width to full width, inner container to contain, and we will use a 1000 pixel container width. The default 40 pixel padding is fine. And we will add the blue background color. The next three items we need are three headline blocks. One with a GP logo. Let's add the first one. We'll use H2, text align center, font weight 600, font size 60 pixel, set the line height to 1 EM, text color we will go with white. And then lastly, we will add in GP's logo. Next, we will have another headline block. This time we'll go with H3. Text line center. Not going to change the typography this time, but I am going to set the color to white again. Let's add the last headline block for this section. This one will just be a paragraph. Text align center and color white. Now we're ready to create the actual pricing table section. First, we will add our grid. Again, I'll go with a 100% grid to start with. Go to my block navigation, select the container underneath the grid wrapper, set it to 50%. I will go with 50 pixel all round padding and set the background color to white. In order to add a headline block with the background color and center line, we also need to add a container for it. So we'll go ahead and add our container. We will center align the container This one will have zero padding. Now we are ready to add the headline block. We 
we will go with top and bottom five pixel padding, 10 on the right and 10 on the left. We will also go with inline width. background color we'll go with a gray text color white again border radius 25 pixels all around now the difference between inline width and full width is this. I'm actually going to increase the left and right padding to 15 to make it look nicer. And margin bottom of 30 pixel. So now we want to make sure we get out of the previous container and add our second headline block. This one will again be just a paragraph. Text line center and the cost. Font way 600, font size 60. Forgot our money sign. Now, in order to make the money sign smaller, we will need a little bit of custom HTML and CSS, which we're happy to help with in our support forum if you need. Let's reduce the bottom margin to 30. And now we are ready to create this list, which we can do with multiple headline blocks. Let's add the first one. Set it to paragraph, paste in the text. For spacing, I will go with 10 pixel bottom margin, select the check mark as our icon, and now I will just duplicate this. The next element we need to create is this button right here. So let's add our buttons block. Let's go to our block navigation first and select the buttons wrapper. Activate fill horizontal space to make a full width. And now we'll go to the block navigation again and select the actual button. For spacing, we will go with 10 pixel for the top and bottom. Left and right can keep at 20 pixels. We will go with two pixel of bottom border and five pixel of border radius.
now we'll go set the color to green and border color we will add 0 0.2 of transparency let's compare so it looks like we need some space right here which we can add to the last headline block once you're happy you can go back select the entire container and this is one of my favorite part is to duplicate the item now let's go back and compare looks like we have a bit more space here so we can increase that by selecting our grid wrapper and increase the horizontal gap maybe a little more so now we have the shadow right here which I will show a little sneak preview of Generate Blocks Pro. We will select our container. Go to the FX panel. Turn on transition. This all looks good to me. And then I'll turn on box shadow. We will go with 10 horizontal offset, 10 vertical offset, zero blur and zero spread. On hover, we will go with five five zero zero now we have our box shadow with the hover effect so instead of selecting the same option here we can use another option in generate blocks pro I will select the container we have the copy and paste style option once I have the style copied I can select this container and paste the style in now we have box shadow and transition in both blocks let's take a look that's it for this video thanks for watching